It's been widely reported that it was the use of the waterboarding technique and stress positions on Khalid Sheikh Mohammed that led to the information that allowed U.S. forces to track down and kill Osama bin Laden. You mentioned the fact that uh, we obtained information several years ago, vital information about the courier for Obama. We obtained that information through waterboarding. And uh, so for those who say that waterboarding doesn't work, to say that it should be stopped and never used again, we got vital information which uh, directly led us to bin Laden. Wow. It came from uh, an overseas uh, prison where Khalid Sheikh Mohammed was being interrogated. That information must be difficult news for some past detractors of the technique like Senate Armed Services Committee Chair Carl Levin. President Bush and Vice President Cheney have essentially argued that they have legalized waterboarding, that they have legalized torture. They think that the actions of their Justice Department made things like waterboarding not war crimes anymore. Um, are, are they right? You can't just suddenly change something that's illegal into something that is legal by having a lawyer write an opinion saying that it's legal. Things can't work that way or else someone could get a lawyer to say a crime is not a crime and then uh, that would be a defense. It is not a defense uh, and uh, I just, uh, I was astounded frankly when I heard uh, the Vice President of the United States sort of just blandly and blithely uh, saying that oh he thought that was an appropriate thing and yes so he was involved in the discussions about it. But the information seems to be having a difficult time reaching the senator's ears. I don't, I don't have any uh, basis to believe that uh, this, any leads here were produced by uh, illegal activities on our part. I have no, no basis to know that. Uh. No basis to know that, other than various media reports, U.S. officials who say they used waterboarding to get the leads on bin Laden, as well as other lawmakers. My views about uh, the fact that uh, um, torture produces misinformation, not good information, are pretty well known, and so I just have no basis to. For CNSNews.com, I'm Eric Shiner.